everyone, I'm Connie at Faithful Friends Farm. Today I'm going to be sharing with you why we choose to raise quail for meat and eggs. So I'm going to walk you over to our quail house. Um, they don't take a lot of room to raise. And I'll go into detail about everything from eggs to hatching. So if you want to join me, this is our little quail house here. Um, this was originally built um, in the 50s. He had built it for uh, rearing chicks, but it works good for our quail as well. And um, yeah, so follow me. So here are all of our quail that we have right now. It's not too many. I think I have about 50, between 50 and 60. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, if you've been following me for a few years, you know that we used to raise uh, thousands of quail. But when we moved to the new farm, we downsized for a while there. We didn't have any quail. I purchased these eggs from um, my brother-in-law and hatched these. And we butchered some for meat and I saved some for hatching, for egg layers for hatching. Right now, the males are fighting each other. So they just started laying again. They went through a molt for a while. So now I'm getting eggs again, and I plan on hatching. I'm going to have some in the incubator right now, actually. But from birth to egg laying, it only takes about 8 to 10 weeks. Um, and then it takes about 8 to 12 weeks before slaughtering, before they're big enough. Uh, usually they dress out between six to eight ounces each. But they're quiet birds. Like I said, you don't need, this is a large area for these guys. You don't need a space this big. You can have like a, a little porch underneath your porch. You could raise some. They're quiet. It's not like raising chickens where they're loud and you have crowing roosters. Now these guys do crow. It's actually really funny sounding. We might get one on tape. I haven't heard them yet though. But you can see they're very quiet. They're quick and easy to grow. I'm gonna show you now. Um, and they don't require much feed and water each day either. I'm gonna show you our incubator and what we got going on right now. Now my cats will go after the quail. They don't bother my chicks, it's funny, they don't bother my ducklings. But for some reason, maybe because they're more wild, the cats do go after the quail. And if they got a hold of one, they would eat them. Which is, I guess it's because they're uh, more of a wild animal. So we just put our first batch of quail in an eggs in an incubator. We have two professional incubators. At one time when we hatched hundreds of quail each week, we had both of these running constantly. Um, that one, I don't have anything in right now. Right now I have one tray in here. And I forget how many each one of these trays hold. I think it actually says it on the tray. But this particular incubator holds up to six trays. Um, now, right now, I'll probably only be doing one tray maybe every week, maybe every two weeks. I'm not sure yet. I don't want to overwhelm us with quail again since we have pigs now and we have chickens and all kinds of other stuff going on here. So yeah, so it holds 124 eggs per tray. Now, they only take about two and a half weeks from egg to baby chick. When they hatch, they're teeny tiny. They fit right here in the palm of my hand. They're, they grow very quickly though. Um, I don't ever, uh, I don't ever um, increase the humidity till like a few days before hatching. 
I don't add anything. These are the water trays up here. They're empty right now. Like I said, like three days before hatching with quail, that's when I add the water. They're more of like a uh, desert animal, so they don't require like a lot of humidity, like a duck egg or a chicken egg. Um, and like I said, it only takes about eight to 12 weeks after hatching before they're butcher size. They're very easy to dress. Um, there are so many benefits in raising quail. Now the eggs, I don't have, I mean they're cute and they're little and you can make like cute little appetizers with them. But as far as like frying and eating, I don't know. My daughter does it, she thinks it's fun. But I don't know how many it would really take, probably six eggs to, to fill your stomach. And I used to hard boil these for the kids and they take them to school and that was their snack in the afternoon. So they make nice little hard boiled eggs. Now I'd rather have a chicken egg for eating, but they're cute and they're pretty. But yeah, so we really enjoy raising them. If you have any questions, you could just add them to the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, I have some place, some recommended places where you can purchase eggs if you want to do this yourself. Uh, I guess that's about it. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe. We need about 300 more subscribers before I get start getting paid for our channel. So I really appreciate it if you subscribe. And I, I ask, um, I, I hope you have a good week and God bless.